I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I was on my way to the lake and realized that I did not have the waterproof case for my GoPro. I have left it in someone else's truck. So I figured I'd stop by uh, the Walmart here at Lake Wiley and get one. The Walmart where I live has them, but the Walmart in Lake Wiley, they do not. So it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle today making video. That's okay, my phone's waterproof. Bass fishermen are the worst. They got a color and a type of bait for every, all these different conditions. Pumpkin seed works this time of year. Red shad culprit will be the trick here. Then it's time to switch over to a crawdad. I think the hard plastic, I think the suspending jerk bait is gonna do good today. Man, a curly tail grub on an eight ounce jig head will catch any fish in the lake. A Carolina rig with a worms caught more fish than any, all the other baits combined. Doesn't just go for bass fishing, that goes for cat fishing. That goes for about every kind of fishing. It mainly, I think, stems from all of the different tackle companies. You know, that kind of goes into why catfish will never be as big as bass because there's so much stuff on the market for bass fishing. So many products. Just the lures alone totally outweigh every, basically every piece of tackle in the catfish world. If you've ever seen the movie Remember the Titans, I'm sorry for all the shaking. South Carolina roads. Matter of fact, let me pause this video until I get on some smoother roads. If you've ever seen the movie Remember the Titans, remember when, what Coach Yost, what was Denzel Washington's name? Anyways, he says he has seven plays. And all these other high schools and these coaches, football teams, they have playbooks. They have just hundreds of plays and uh, the old coach coach yo says seven plays you know well that's not gonna work and Denzel says give it time it's like Novocaine it always works something like that anyway anyways ooh, don't throw my kayak off whenever I just go to Wiley I don't even strap it down I just throw it back there that's kind of the strategy that I use. I got a handful of things that I use for all types of fishing, or well, the types of fishing that I participate in. Crappy fishing, I got one or two baits, and that's it. Hybrid fishing, striper fishing, casting artificials for stripers. I got a handful of baits I use, that's it. I don't want anything new, because I know these work. Cat fishing is the same way. You get all these new products, and that's a good thing because people are gonna find their handful of things that work. You know, you're always gonna have that person that's got, they want a boat with storage. See, I don't want a boat with storage. I want a boat with an open floor plan because I don't need a lot of storage for Plano boxes full of crap that I'm never gonna use. I'm gonna use the same handful of things all the time. I just wanted to key you, I just wanted to let you know that. I don't know why, but there you go. Man, look at that, that looked pretty. gets me excited. There's two things that you cannot go fishing without. No, I'm just kidding. Don't start that. That's a bad habit. The other one, now you may think that's just a normal egg, but they're actually quail eggs. That's my lucky boat food. I gotta try to get out of this wind. It's a little rough out there in the main channel. I'm gonna go up into this little creek here, drag some bait. I will come back out here though. Actually, I don't mind fishing in those conditions, but if I can come back in here and catch some fish, that'll be even better. It's always a good sign. First, you take a perch. Then I like to fillet them from the bottom up. Then I like to cut their tail off. It's got the flappers. Exposes those guts. Those guts are where it's at. There's a reason why those guys sell those uh, shad guts online and they are expensive. But that's how I do it. And I catch myself doing it on a boat too, especially if you're limited on bait. You don't need to drag a ton of rods 
Sometimes I'll use these eight foot rods on a kayak because it gives me that much more spread. So I got my drifting stick, Santee rig, a seven out gamakatsu on that. Depending on the size of the bait, I'll still go through the eyes, but if that was a bigger bait, with that being only a seven aught, I would actually come up through the nostril. But since it's uh, it's not that big of a bait, I am just gonna go through the eyeball, the eye socket. I'll put the one that's out farthest, I put it out first. I let it out about 100 feet. Then the one on this side, I let out 50 to 75 feet. I'll fish a suspended rod up in front of me. By fishing a suspended rod, it helps you keep your speed. You know, if that, if your line isn't vertical, I use one and a half to two ounce egg sinker on Carolina rig, it's like your striper, down rod for stripers. If that line starts to come up more than a 45 degree angle, you're trolling too fast. You kind of want it to, you want to go slow enough and keep that line as vertical as possible. And that's it, that's the name of the game. And uh, you get hooked up, you will know because your kayak will no longer be going straight. It'll either, if you get hooked on this rod, it's going to go like that or like that if it's on this rod. Pull and drag. Right here beside the bridge. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to hide where I'm at today. Oh, pull and drag, pull and drag. Let me see you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let a few more people get in here before I show you all this fish. What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> I'm out here for guys. Oh. There he goes. That's a good release. Alright guys, all in all, it wasn't a bad day. Caught a good fish. Anytime you catch a good fish, it's a good day. Just like Rocky says, Adrian! Thank you to everybody for watching. Y'all have a good one now.